do fathers have equal rights to custody of their children whenever the couple breaks up? Whether they were married or not, they have children together and they break up. Do the fathers have a fighting chance to get primary custody of their children? The answer may surprise you. My name is Laura Hurd and I've been representing people in divorce situations and child custody fights in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. For over 35 years, I've represented some fathers and some mothers. I have helped fathers get actual primary custody of their children. But the perception of the public is still generally that mothers have an advantage. Is that really true? Historically, it was true. We presumed that the mother would be the best suited parent for caring, particularly the young children. The judges would tend to favor giving primary custody to the mother. The father that wanted custody would have to fight really hard for it. Oftentimes, if the parents were equally good parents, the mother would still win. We talked about custody in terms of primary custody and visitation rights. The fathers typically got the visitation rights and had to pay child support. As the law progressed, we changed the law. We took away the terminology of custody and visitation rights. That's not even in our statute anymore. We talk now about conservatorships and we introduced the term of managing conservator, sole conservator, and possessory conservator. The sole conservator would be the one with the primary custody, the one who decides where the children live and the one who collects child support. The possessory conservator would be the one who has what used to be called visitation rights, but we don't call them visitation rights, we call them periods of possession. So each parent has certain periods of possession where they have a superior right to possession of the child. As time progressed, they came up with the idea of joint managing conservator. And the law was made to be what they call gender neutral. It specifically said that neither gender parent have an automatic advantage over the other one. That the judge was to decide which would be the best parent to take care of the child and decide based on the best interest of the child without regard to the gender of the parent. First, they introduced the concept of joint managing conservator. Then they said joint managing conservator is to be the norm. Everyone should be joint managing conservators of their children unless you can specifically prove that that's not in the child's best interest. In fact, if the judge is not going to have a joint managing conservatorship, he has to specifically state, based on the evidence, why he's deciding to give a sole managing instead of a joint managing conservatorship. 